Stop being dirty versus rice gang. Oh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Jim's Mr. Stop Being Dirty, Stop Eating Dirty, Stop Sleeping Dirty. You know, went from uh looking like a bag of laundry to slim, got his life together, influenced a lot of people along the way, myself included. Uh, he's done a lot of things with his career. I, I, we're going against each other today in the media bracket. We still really ain't even got together and done our picks or whatever the case may be, but I realized that um, it's getting late. It's the fourth quarter, so we got to go ahead and just say who we feel. I'm going to just say who I feel like is going to win, and we'll probably speak sometime during the day. So if I'm, if me and him, the battles are so close that we be having we'll have to flip a coin and this that and the third so i'm gonna just tell you who i think is gonna win and then if the picks that i have to pick via coin flip or whatever the case may be um if i lose in the bracket just know my picks is my picks you know what i'm saying it is what it is uh danny myers versus Holmesy the guy, Holmesy the guy. Y'all battling for 25 bands, 25 racks, a chance at it, a shot. This is your shot at some madness. Um, Holmesy has a came up, loud boys. I remember Holmesy before he even really got on. I remember being on a live stream showing one of Holmesy's battles way back in the day before he even had a PG or anything like that. I thought the kid was talented. Uh, if he remember, I'm sure he remembers this. Um, and he came up, he got proven ground battles, he moved on from there, he's done his thing. I always said during the tournament thing that he needed a breakout battle. Well, in the tournament, he's had a couple of breakout battles. I think regardless of where this battle goes, um, he's going to be able to ask for more, he's going to be able to get more, he's going to be able to do bigger things. And I think that's the biggest uh, takeaway from this. Now, 25 bands would be great, trust me. But the money, money, money is is a, is a good thing. But uh, he's battling Danny Myers, one that a lot of the consensus had picked to win the whole tournament, myself included. Uh, I just felt like Danny Myers is a ringer. He's been around for 100 years. He's uh, He had 100 battles before I even did my first blog. Uh, Danny Myers is one of those MCs that can take it there and he can use anything and everything. He can rebuttal, he can freestyle. Uh, Holmesy the God, you know, he has he, ha he has a lot of personal direct angles and you know, he's been doing that throughout the tournament. He beat uh, Emerson Kennedy, which is a lot of other people's favorite. He beat him, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he just makes his way through. Like he's just catching wreck, smoking people. He smoked Saga, which was a lot of other people's favorites. Uh, a lot of respect should go on Holmesy's name. A lot, a lot should, you know. Hey, Jims, how you doing? How are we working out today? What are we doing, man? That's my guy, man. I just want to let y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? We had to jump him in the beginning of the video, but it's still my guy. Um, So, it comes down to this battle, you know. Um, do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. It's a hustler's logic. Hop out, busting them Thompsons. I lost 12K to Rex, but if I beat you and win next week, that 25, I could just say I double my profit. Bar God. Uh, bar God, Danny Myers is very lyrical, man. Um, I got this battle being a very, very close one. Fire overall. Uh, both guys bringing their A game. I got no chokes. Danny doesn't choke. Like, let's be for real. Um, maybe one or two in battles that happened a while ago. But he does. He's not a choker. Holmesy has no chokes. I got this. Not only being a battle of the night, I got this being um, one of the better battles that we're gonna see throughout this tournament. Uh, gotta pick a winner. Uh, I got Danny Myers two one. Uh, I think that's the safest bet. And with a Holmesy, if Holmesy's gonna beat Danny Myers, he has to show me. Like Danny Myers has earned that level of respect. 
in the tournament by catching 30s. Like, he's beat all of his opponents pretty clear before they even go to the judges. You know, his Danny's battles be won before they even go to the judges. Like, it don't even... The judges could take the battle off. It's really no deliberation. It's like, you know what? Let's go to... Danny, 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 Danny. Like, so until... With him doing what he's done, I would have to go with Danny 2-1. And if Holmes is going to beat that, he's going to have to show me that he can beat that. And if Holmesy gets by Danny Myers, it'd be safe to pick Holmesy to win $25,000. i am just going to be honest with you. At this point, it, 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 nothing going to stop him. You know, he's got God in his name and God by his side. So that's just what that is. Bill Collector versus None None second battle there's a couple more battles on there and shit you know what i mean uh fucking shotgun shook battling again i don't know why but you know he's battling against young cannon and uh mr wavy versus uh drugs those are two more battles on there they free so we'll we'll peep them but uh bill collector versus none 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 is another unprobable guy who made it all the way to the semi-final without even really nobody picking him on the bracket he should have a lot of reasons to be confident. He should be feeling himself. He should want to be able to continue pushing where he's going. See, the thing about Bill Collector, Bill Collector is an opponent that does a lot of things good. A lot of things good. You know, he's a de he's a very decent puncher. He's a very decent schemer. If he gets an angle, he's a decent angler too. But if he gets an angle where he has one, like a wide open angle like he had against Mike P., he can turn into a Super Saiyan angler. So, the one thing that Bill does not have on None None is a definitive angle. Like, the whole white rap, that's really not an angle. Like, people have tried that shit before. Wavy tried it against None None. Wave is going to be, well, I would have I would have normally said Wave is going to be home, but he's going to be battling anyway. But he's not battling in the tournament. He got, you get bumped. So, I really don't know where Bill Collector is going to come from. In this, in this battle, because he has nothing. You really don't have, you know, I mean, I'm sure he's talented enough and smart enough to, to create logic to make us feel however we're going to feel. None None is an absolute puncher. He is a puncher's puncher. He, he's going to go line for line for line for line with you. Uh, I like what he does. I've been liking None None since before the tournament even started. So None None got shock value to him. And he's not coming to play around by no 25000 You better believe none none is not going to play with Bill Collector whatsoever. He's been one of the more dominating forces in the tournament, I must say. Um, one thing that I will say about none none, none none ain't scared of nobody. He, he, he has unfathomed, unfazed. He don't care about who you are. He don't care about your status. He's coming in there to punch. He's going to go line for line, haymakers. And he's gonna rock that crowd. He said, uh, and even that night he's supposed to be no crowd. He's still gonna rock whoever's in that joint. Uh, you hear in the background. Uh, what he told, uh, he said, you never. He told Mr. Wavy, you never fell off. You sure? But well, why are you on something with a summer madness reward when you've been on summer madness before? Oh! crazy out the gate too I must say uh, close battle another close I don't think nobody's going to get beat before it goes to the judges close battle man very very close battle uh, off the strength of past opponents past schedule past everything I got to go Bill Collector 2-1 Bill Collector's already battled a lot of big time opponents the hitmans the t-tops and the list goes on and on and on. And while Bill Collector may not be able to punch at the level that None None punches, he does a lot of other things. And his character and the way he's able to project his voice. And the, uh, you know how much pain I go through and I don't show shit. You know what I'm saying? She unswallowed all of them niggas. Like Bill Collector could take it to that next level. Uh, I think this will be a very close battle. But in order for me to pick against Bill, you got to beat him. Like, and nobody's figured that out. He's not the best puncher in the world. He's not the best schemer in the world. He's not the... Bill Collector would, probably won't be the best of anything. But what he will be, he has heart. 
That's what Bill Collector has. He has heart, and he is going to bring the fight to you. In a lot of his battles, watch the same shit happen today. This probably be the same shit that happened today. In a lot of Bill Collector's battles, after the first round, you kind of feel like he's down. You be like, yeah, I don't know, like he might be down 0-1 after the first round. Then what happens? The cream start to rise to the top of the crop. Like he just, I don't know why. Like as the battle goes on, Bill, Bill, Bill's rounds get better. I don't know why. Like I don't know if he throws out a feel around in the first. He did it against. He definitely did it against in some of his other battles. He throw out a feel around in the first. Just to see where the battle's gonna be. And then after that, then it can take off. He's doing it for his man, LB the boss. Uh, I'm sure it should be an exciting battle. Uh, you know, it's a tournament, man. Tournament, tournament team, tournament team. Uh, it, I think it's, it's a good look for battle rap. Uh, these guys have put in a lot of work. Um, and it is what it is. But I got Bill Collector 2-1. And I got them two going to the finals, Danny Myers versus a Bill Collector. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And if I go home, I go home. It's been a great run. Uh, Jim's is a very worthy opponent to go against. I got a lot of respect for him. And if I have, I'm not losing. If I, but if, but if I was to lose to a Jim's, I could feel. Uh, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's cool. I mean. He's a good guy. I love what he's doing with himself. He's got twins, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's, he's changed himself. He's done a lot for himself. I, I love his direction and where he's going personally and professionally. I got not a, I don't have one bad word to say about that man, you know? But I'm going to beat him today, though. I got to beat him today. That's my guy, but I got to beat him. You know? uh, I might wear the Stop Being Dirty hoodie after I beat him and shit. Uh, what was I about to say? Um, so, yeah. That'll be that'll be about that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about King of the Dot. Salute to King of the Dot and everything that they got going on. A tournament style. While a lot of y'all are going to be quick to jump out the window and say that, uh, oh, they're stealing, they're stealing, they're copying, they're copying. Uh, King of the Dot had tournaments from back in fucking 2011, 2012, shit like that. They've had tournaments forever. Uh, I remember one a long ass time ago. They had two on two tournaments with like Il Maggot, the Soros versus Poe Rich and Diaz. And Poe Rich and Diaz won the battle long. Like, this is way before I ever had a camera, ever before you even knew who I was. So, they've been doing Grand Prix for years. Like, they've been 2012, 2013, way, way back. So, for them to bring their, what they've been doing back, which is a tournament, how you how can you bite something that you've done? You know what I'm saying? Now, I get it that a lot of people are going to say, oh, it's money involved. Oh, it's a streaming platform involved. Oh, I get it. Some people will feel that way, but me, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't work for any of these companies. So when you have the whole line drawn in the ground, and you gotta rep this brand, rep that. I don't work for any. I work for myself. So I see things from a literal perspective. Like, okay, they partner with Twitch. Do you know how big Twitch is? Do you know Twitch is one of the most viewed streaming platforms in the world? Do you know that uh, if Twitch, if, if, if caffeine is an ant, Twitch is an elephant, do you know how big their platform is? I don't think you, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand that there's people on Twitch playing video games with 30,000 people watching them at one fucking time. I don't think you understand. So I get it that you might not understand the, the 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 level of how big that move is, but if you got somebody gonna give you fifty thousand, there's gonna be battle rappers that's gonna be going over there. Don't get it twisted. A lot of people ain't got fifty grand to just be like, oh, I could pass on. So um, I think they said that they was doing their battles on Sundays. Why wouldn't you do your battles on Sundays if another league has got Saturdays locked down? So I. I get where people would come with their grievances and stuff. Are they biting? Are they copying? I see where you could feel that way. Trust me, I do. But like I said, I don't look at things from that perspective. I look at things from this opportunity. And it, it looks like, it looks more and more like leagues are separating themselves from YouTube. Like they're just finding different ways to put their content out 
without it being on YouTube. I think the first one who puts their content on a streaming platform where it could be rewatched other than just that one time is going to be the real winner. You know what I'm saying? Like that's going to be the real winner when you can watch some shit more than just one time. Because there's people who work, people who have kids, people who have jobs, people that just can't watch something at three o'clock on the dot and then they miss it, you know? But, uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I, I hope it does well. I mean, you know, hopefully they have some dope ass battlers in it too. Um, 50,000 ain't no little money to sneeze at though. Don't, don't you ever get it twisted. But yeah, I threw it all in the same blog. So I ain't got to record two, three blogs at one time and shit. And plus, you know, a lot of people, they just like to ride. And I just talk. I'll talk about all the relevant subjects at one time. You know what I'm saying? Just get that shit out the way. But I will be happy that I am happy that uh, King of the Dot is coming outside. You know what I'm saying? Because I was wondering what the hell was going on during this pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Like, what uh, what was y'all doing? I mean, you just seen Rare Breed Entertainment. They just came back out with their joint. And I'm, I'm hearing Rare Breed is supposed to have a, a, a foot in it or some MCs in it or something in the tournament, too. That's what I've been hearing, you know. As more information trickles down, I'll uh, go ahead and, and talk about it as such. But, um, yeah, I, I was glad to see that they came back outside because it's like, I mean, let's just be honest. Uh, the tournaments are great. The bye weeks are cool. Some of the MCs keep getting recycled over and over and over, like somebody's favorite shirt and shit. Like, this, you, you see the same guy every fucking week and some of these people we be seeing all the time we're not even asking for like who's who's scheduling who, the f who is there a wedding planner who the fuck is, is doing the scheduling some of these niggas must be on eight battles for a hundred dollar contract and shit because they just keep battling over and over and over and over and these niggas are starting to be some of them become starting to become smoke breaks and i don't even smoke but uh you already know what to do or what it does so you ain't gotta ask what it was salute to the subscribers that notification gang it's early but I definitely want to get out my picks for the tournament. Uh, if they call me and I have to pick somebody different, you got me documented about who I picked, who I really felt like was going to win. So you already know what it's doing, what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all niggas out there, man. Get to it. Facade, this really who we are. Shit ain't no facade. I really had drives just before I had a car. Ugly little niggas, but you know we had the bras. Show me groupie love, baby. I'm a superstar. This life a movie, baby. And I'm giving you a pop. Show me where your head at like I knew that you were smart. You a real one. I even bring it to the spot. Think especially what we got. Cause I've been through a lot. Flood out to the death, cause you win and you're not When I seen you pull a BM off the lot Then I told myself all the BS gotta stop I'm the young nigga from the city out to get it Breast shoulders with the realest swear along